that Bray disease is an X-linked condition, which means we expect there to be some differences between how it manifests in men and women. In fact, initially, the assumption was that women would be unaffected because women have two X chromosomes and men only have one. So men only have one copy of the GLA gene. Um, and there are, in fact, differences. But importantly, most women, at least with um, changes in the GLA gene that would be associated with classical or severe febre disease in men, do become symptomatic. The pattern of disease is a little dip different between men and women. In men, the most the order of presentation is pain in childhood and then progressive kidney disease starting in adolescence or early adulthood, followed by progressive heart disease and also high risk for stroke. The life-threatening complication in men that is the first in the majority of them is uh, kidney failure. In women, that order is similar in the initial phase. So pain is often the earliest diagnosis. Uh, then heart disease is the first sort of major health problem that uh, arises in women, uh, followed by risk for stroke and then kidney disease. Now, all three are important. Kidney disease um, does occur with a significant excess in people in women with Fabry disease versus the general population, but is not the the key focus for women. If you had to pick one thing to focus on for women with Fabry disease, it should be heart disease. Uh, and the next most important is stroke prevention and kidney third. Again, that's different than the order in men. Thank you.